Hey guys, today we're gonna do a good old fashioned haul. I have some things that I've purchased and I also have some things that were sent to me in PR. So I will start with the things that I have purchased first and then I will get into the PR products. But what I will be talking about also at the end is my giveaway. So I have been promising you guys a giveaway when I hit 75,000, which happened while I was in Japan. So I kind of forgot about it. And then when I came home and I started, you know, unpacking it and getting back to life, I actually opened up my closet over here, which I don't do often and that's where I have my bag where I've been collecting things for this giveaway and I saw it sitting there and I was like oh crap <laughs> I need to do a giveaway so that's what we're going to be doing today for 75,000 thank you guys so so much um for 75,000 um on this channel I I am just constantly blown away that uh, 75,000 of you deem me watchable enough to subscribe to my channel. I just think that that is such an honor. So um, thank you so much. And I usually like to do these um, subscriber count giveaways when I have a PR haul because I'm basically getting PR because of you guys. If I didn't have you as a subscriber, I would not be getting um, these fun, exciting things to talk about and share with you and so I really like to you know share these products with you guys and I really like to do giveaways kind of surrounding PR hauls so that's what we'll do at the end of this video but let's go ahead and jump into some things that I have purchased and not necessarily talked about yet on this channel so gosh let me get myself together I am a mess a mess now I'm sorry before we get into the haul I just have a question to pose to you guys and if you have an answer let me know down below in the comment section but my, you know, filming slash beauty room or whatever you want to call this place that I sit in is a total disaster. Like I cannot seem to get on top of having enough storage space, putting things away, getting new stuff, buying new stuff, um, taking out all this stuff to film, not having time to put it back, filming another video, more stuff comes out. So my vanity everything around me like when I get up from here I can't even just take a step I have to like step over something it's like I'm playing hopscotch in this room just to get anywhere and would you guys be interested in watching me do a cleanup I on occasion have that morbid curiosity where I'm like how messy is your room and I'll watch those cadet videos and they're they're sometimes very soothing and sometimes very cathartic so if you would be interested in that you know I could just kind of set up my camera in the corner and kind of talk through what I'm doing um, I'd have to have more of a game plan than I do now because I've been trying to clean up for months and all I'm doing is just shifting things around and I've been wanting to show you my collection and I'm you know people have been asking me about this room here and I I'm like, I can't, I can't properly show you anything until I clean this place up. And a very motivating factor for me is, well, if I promise a video for you guys <laughs> that I'm going to clean up, then I'm going to do it. So if you guys would be interested in a cleanup video, let me know. And then we can get into a collection video and then we can get into my uh, filming setup video, etc. So I probably sound insane right now. Let's just go ahead and move into the haul. So the first thing that I wanted to show you that I completely forgot about and I have been wanting to do a dedicated video to this um, are the two Natasha Denona gold things. One is like a highlighter, one is a mini palette. And um, these came out while I was in Japan. So these also arrived in my home while I was in Japan. And I just, I just haven't gotten a chance. It's been hard for me to catch up. So uh, let me just show them to you. Here is the Natasha Denona Glow Gold Shimmer Duo. So this is the highlighter. And oh, wow. I, see, I haven't even opened this yet. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Isn't that gorgeous? Let me go ahead and swatch these. Here is this one. So this is the lighter one, the one on the left. And then here is the darker one, this one here. Neither of these pans feel especially creamy. They just feel like very soft powders. Let's swatch that. Ooh. Okay, that would probably be too dark for my cheeks, but that I think could work and I could use this on my eyes pretty. You guys know how much I love gold. So I have this and if you guys are still interested in a dedicated video or video using these, let me know. But I feel like, and isn't this sad, but I feel like these are kind of old news already. 
Am I being crazy? But I feel like they came out, I saw a couple of videos and it's already died down. There's been so many new releases and it's really been nuts. It's really been crazy. Um, anyway, here is the mini gold eyeshadow palette. So it comes in this box. This was the shipping box from Sephora. And this is what it looks like. Oh, these feel nice. Ooh, pretty. Okay. There's always that, ooh, that looks pretty. There's always that risk that these mini palettes are not quite up to par as her regular shadows. I know that's happened in the past, but I feel like, is it the last the last one, the mini nude, was, was really nice. So, so I definitely have high hopes for this one. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I like those greens pretty so again if you want me to use these on camera for you guys let me know down below in the comment section i also picked up the new shantikai real skin plus uh, eye and face stick and i think this is kind of like a foundation slash concealer so it says on the back of the box here a natural looking blendable stick foundation that gives skin a soft dewy finish Perfect for all over coverage or spot correction. So I'm guessing this is gonna have at least medium kind of coverage, but here is the tube and it's a little bit smaller than I thought, which is why I was curious. It has four grams, 0.14 ounces. I got the color number three and I wonder if this is gonna be too dark for me. Oh no, that looks okay. So I assume by the description and by the size of this stick, because it is fairly small, it's definitely more of like a concealer stick size versus foundation that it has um, pretty decent coverage and it looks like it does it looks like it definitely has like a medium full coverage so i was planning on doing a full day wear test with this but i don't know that i would personally wear this all over my face so maybe i'll do a wear test using this kind of like as a concealer what do you guys think of that so anyway that's the real skin plus from Shantikai in shade number three and then I also purchased the new La Mer the glow highlighter this is their highlighter duo there's a cream one and a powder one and I took it out just to kind of take a picture and play around with it but the case is beautiful the packaging is very similar to the pressed powder and uh, the bronzer that they have but it has like a frosted plastic bottom and it has like a new design at the top there very pretty and then the inside here's the cream and here's the powder the cream has this very interesting kind of like flip lid which i think is really really great so it just covers one half at a time but you can basically flip it back and forth which is really cool so let me give you some swatches of this and this powder side is very creamy feeling to the touch but there's the powder side. So there's the cream and then there's the powder. Wow, that is stunning. This is such an interesting color. I don't think I have a highlighter this shade, like a very, very light, 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 kind of like copper color with like a pink tinge to it. That's really pretty. Wow, okay, La Mer. And then I also picked up this Clay de Peau press powder. This is the limited edition, holiday edition of their press powder. It's in the shade 101 Blooming Cherry. And Clay de Peau always comes out with this really beautiful collection for holiday. And unfortunately this time, this is the only thing that really caught my eye. The eye quad I wasn't really drawn to. There were a couple lipstick colors that I wasn't really drawn to. So I just got the pressed powder. This comes packaged beautifully so this comes off it's just like a sleeve an outer sleeve and then this whole box like opens up and there's this beautiful drawing on the inside and then the powder is kind of sitting in the middle there and it has this red pouch and then the powder just comes out this is just like a, a paper box so here is the outer packaging isn't that so pretty i just love it and then it has this like light pink peachy color here and then here's the inside and then here's the inside it comes with a puff and then look at that beautiful design that's embossed in there so it's very pretty it has the clay de peau rose uh, scent to it and this powder is so so silky soft wow absolutely beautiful 
So it's interesting, in the Clay de Peau pressed powders, I don't think in the special one from last year, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but they have mineral oil in them. And I've stayed away from their regular pressed powder because it has mineral oil in it, but I really got along with last year's limited edition one. I don't know if that one has mineral oil in it. This one does, so I'm just curious to see if this is gonna work for me because mineral oil in general doesn't work for my skin. And I wanna say the most experience I've had with mineral oil not working is in eyeshadows. So if there's some sort of mineral oil in eyeshadows that helps it kind of like spread and blend, it just does something very weird, it, almost like it pools on my eyelids, it just doesn't work. And I'm trying to think on my face, the experience I've had with it is that it doesn't necessarily like break me out, I don't get zits, but I will get like texture on my skin. I think that's been the experience with mineral oil on my face. So I'm very interested in trying out this powder. I wanna see if my skin is gonna react to it at all. But again, if you want me to use this in a video or any of these things in a video, please let me know down below in the comment section. I also stocked up on my Sonia Kashuk sponges. So I got a whole bunch of those. Uh, very boring, so I won't speak any more on that. All right, I think that's it for everything that I have purchased. Let me go into all the things that I've received in PR. Um, the first thing is so exciting to me, and I've been playing around with them, and I'm definitely gonna have a dedicated video to these. And these are the new uh, Sisley Single Eyeshadows, so they sent them over to me in this uh, nice, very practical case, and they sent over 12 of these new shadows for me. So let me just read some of this information for you. There's 20 different shades. They're packed with ultra pure pigment and the brand's highest ever proportion of light reflecting mother of pearl. The shadows blend seamlessly with the skin as a gel sugar and film forming polymer work to create a smooth melting and creamy texture. From what I can tell so far, I can definitely vouch for that statement. They are creamy and they become so more when you actually put them on the lid. They're actually pretty amazing. Consisting of a half powder, half cream formulation, natural mica powders, silica spheres. Um, there's two natural oils in here, camellia seed and rose hip. There's also green tea extract, white lily extract and camellia seed oil, which gives a softness to the formula and the glow to the shades. And they're very, very delicate for the eyelids. So they told me that they were gonna be available online October 15th. I don't know when this video is gonna go up. I apologize, but I see them already available on Nordstrom. So I will definitely link to them down below in my description box, but there's four finishes. There's the nudes, the smoky, the artsy, the glows. And Cicely has had um, single eyeshadows before because I remember going to the counter and wanting to get some of these. And most recently when I did, they said, just hang on, we're coming out with new ones. And then these were sent to me. So let me just show you one because I am gonna have a video with swatches and everything of all the ones that they sent me. But I just wanna show you the packaging. So it comes in this blue box and here is what the compact looks like. So it's quite different from what they have now, which is I believe much bigger and there's like a window in there so you can see the shadow. So these are much sleeker and much more compact. And then there's the name of the shadow on the back and then inside there's like a little mirror there's like one little sponge tip applicator and then the shadow so each shadow is 1.5 grams and this color is silky creamy number 10 and it is part of the nudes line but let me do a quick swatch of this because you can probably see it in the pan there it just it looks like it's going to be this shimmery gorgeous satin shade so here's number 10, Silky Cream. Let me just show you one more. This is number 42, Glow Silver. This is really pretty. So here it is in the pan. There it is on my finger. And then here is a swatch. Isn't that just stunning? I can't wait to do this video for you guys because these are very, very exciting. So a huge, huge thank you to Cicely for sending over 10 of those shadows to me. I cannot wait to do this video for you guys and to do a look for you because these shadows are really something special. And then Muse Beauty Pro and Viseart was so generous in sending me their Grand Pro Volume 3 palette. This was another item that arrived while I was in Japan and I just have not gotten a chance to play with it or make a video for you. And of course, if you want a video, let me know down below in the comment section. But this is their third and I believe final chapter to their Grand Pro story and comes in 
what the other two have always come in in this really gorgeous almost like wood grained sleeve and then the palette oh the finish of this palette's a little bit different it feels kind of like a like a leather interesting so it flips open like the others have and then here is the palette oh my goodness isn't that gorgeous so there are a lot of videos out on this already. I saw Kinky Sweat and, oh, I just stuck my finger in there. Uh, Kinky Sweat and Kelsey Brianna J. I think Mel Thompson did a video on this and maybe even Morgan Turner. Um, but if you guys would like a video on this from me, I can do swatches and a look out of this. I think actually this could be a good contender for out of my comfort zone because these are some very, very bright shades that I don't normally wear. So if you would be interested in seeing that, again, comment down below. And a huge thank you always to Muse Beauty Pro and Viseart for sending over their impeccable, impeccable products. Thank you so, so much. And then Kogendo sent over their new limited edition Sheer Moist Powder. <laughs> and it's right here. It actually looks like the, uh, the packaging looks like their Sheer Lucent Powder but it's gorgeous. I actually have it on my face right now, and I don't know which video is gonna go up and, and when or whatever, um, but I do a full face of Japanese makeup. And so I use this as uh, the powder, and it's really pretty. It really did a nice um, like blurring filtered effect. And I just wanna show you inside. It has a nice big puff, and then it has like a netting at the top which I really like. So just a couple of words on this limited edition sheer moist powder. Um, it is meant to impart a long lasting velvety brightness to the finish, oil and sweat control for shine, uh, blurs the appearance of imperfections with flat plate powder, T3 premium oil plus 11 hydrating ingredients to keep skin moist and plump for fair to light tan skin tones. Ah, that actually reminds me. So when I applied this, I actually noticed um, like my forehead looked a little bit lighter on the area that I applied it. So I would definitely agree that this is for fair to light tan skin tones because I do think you can see it on the skin a little bit. Um, it's for all skin types. It is not tested on animals, and it's formulated without artificial colors, synthetic fragrance, mineral oil derived from petroleum, or any parabens. I've had it on for about three hours now, and I think it's doing a great job, kind of like keeping everything in place. So that's the Sheer Moist Powder from Kogendo. Brand new, and huge, huge thank you to Kogendo for sending this over to me. Okay, this next package is incredible. I couldn't believe that I got it. Um, but when I opened this up, I was, I mean, beyond thrilled. So Le Bouche Rouge, which is a brand that I've talked about quite a, quite a bit on my channel, um, I'm, I'm kind of a big fan of theirs. Uh, they're coming out with brand new cases for this fall winter season and they sent over the new ones. So it's this beautiful story of like pinky reds. So this one is like a light pink. Here's a nice rich bright pink. And then we have one that's kind of like an oxblood which as you guys know, I love. So there was a little card included. Um, it says, this set was conceived by our atelier with the utmost care. Our lipstick case is a fine leather object, refillable and developed in the classic French artisanal tradition. Because an estimated 1 billion lipsticks are thrown away every year in the world, we designed the first environmentally friendly refill made in France. Refill your leather case from our eShop, labouchrougeparis.com. So all of these are like a magnetic closure. And I actually have a Labouche Rouge refill here that one of my lovely subscribers sent me. She sent me the Knight's Bridge color, which is one that I wanted to get myself. Let me get it out of its box here. So the refills come in this white cardboard box, and then the refill is like in this white cardboard case. And then you just pull the refill out, and then it just slides magnetically right into the case. So keep an eye out for these new case colors. So, so beautiful. So if they're not in stores yet, I think they will be very, very soon. But I've purchased most of my Le Bouche Rouge at Barney's. So anyway, another huge thank you to Le Bouche Rouge for sending these over to me. I'm absolutely thrilled to have them and I am developing quite a collection of these gorgeous cases. So thank you so much. And then I got this lovely box from, I think it's pronounced Ubuna, Ubuna Beauty and they are a skincare company they have four serums 
and it's the Bespoke Antibody Skin Care from Japan. So there's an anti-pollution serum, there is a Renewal Sleep Serum, there is a Brighten Maximum Glow Serum, and then last but not least, there is a Drench Intensive Hydration Serum. So I've started using the Drench Serum already, and I've only used it for maybe two or three days. It's very nice. I don't know if I see like a major difference yet, it's gonna take some time, I think. Um, but it has a very, very thin consistency and it's great, I think, if you're looking for maybe like a daytime serum, at least this one, because it's it's thin and it, you know, it doesn't kind of like interfere with like makeup or whatever. It soaks in pretty quickly. So I do like it for that. And so I've been using it during the day. Um, I have not used any of these other ones yet. I think the Renewal Skin Serum is probably the next one I'm going to use. But this is what the bottles look like. And then the top is kind of like color coded to the box and it's a pump dispenser so the packaging is very nice it's on the lighter side this is plastic but all of these products are made in Japan and I'm gonna throw this maximum glow serum into the giveaway there's just no way I'm gonna be able to get through all these serums so this is gonna be in the giveaway for sure and then I got this really lovely package from House of Siage you guys know how much I love their lipsticks I actually have it sitting out here but this is their lipstick bow cases that I think they're so well known for. Um, but they are actually a perfume house and they sent me their Whispers Limited Travel Spray. I think it's the Whispers of Truth, yep. So it's the perfume that actually is what inspired this whole line. So this is the Whispers of Truth Travel Spray. Let me open this up. Oh, wow. <laughs> it looks just like the lipstick case. Oh my gosh, and it has like a huge crystal at the top there. So let me pull this out. Oh, and it's weighty just like the lipstick case. Gosh, this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. I love the flowers on here. This is all enamel work. These are all Swarovski crystals. And this is just the case for the travel spray. So they also sent over these two boxes. So here's the Whispers in the Garden box. So the whole like Whispers line, there's actually a few of them. Whispers of Admiration, Whispers of Guidance, Whispers of Enlightenment, Innocence, Strength, Time, and Truth. Ooh, wow. So there they all are. Um, let's try this Whispers of Truth. Oh, it's pretty. It's actually like a, a little similar to the Maison Francis Kirchens Baccarat 540. If you like that, you would really like this. This is a little bit lighter than that one. It's like a lighter version of that. So I wonder if this, if this is what fits in here? We'll see. Oh, awesome. So that fits right in there. Oh, how cool. And it fits in very snugly. Oh, nice. So I'll have to take a sniff of all of these uh, on my own time. If I were to sniff them all now, I would have a raging headache, but I'm excited to dive into those perfumes. And then they also sent over a box full of a bunch of their other uh, perfumes. But I think what I'll do is also put this into the giveaway because they sent me a box, where did it go? Oh, it's up there. They sent me a box full of like their perfumes, very similar to this. I think maybe they're smaller sizes and I still have those to go through. So I have a lot of perfume and I don't go through perfume very quickly. So I feel like this would just be going to waste if it was sitting on my shelf. So I'm gonna put this into a giveaway and it's it's very weighty. So there's a lot of perfume in here. Thank you so, so much to House of Siage for sending this over to me. I am just really blown away by this. This is absolutely Gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. And then Frank Body sent over their latest exfoliator. So Frank Body is the company um, that's based in Australia and they're known for their coffee scrub. I am a huge, huge fan of anything coffee scented, as you guys know, and I've mentioned their coffee scrub a couple of times. It always comes in this bag. So they've come out with this one, which is like a Cinnabons flavor scrub and you can see I've already opened it and used it. I just love it. I love it. It's very messy in the shower. I kind of have to like rinse everything off, but I don't care. I think it's so worth it. I absolutely love it. I wish you guys could smell this, but you know when you get like the holiday version of your coffee, that's what this smells like. Oh my God, it's so, so good. So I have been loving this. And if you don't know, my absolute favorite, hands down favorite lip scrub is from Frank Body. It's their sugar lip scrub and it has coffee bits in there. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm on my second one. Definitely at least my second one. I don't think I'm on my third yet. I think this is my second one and I just love it. Oh my God, it smells like a Frappuccino. 
Oh my God, it's so good. So big thank you to Frank Body for sending over their new body scrub. I love it. And then this brand that I had never heard of sent over um, a nice package and they are Plant Apothecary. So they sent over some of their body wash and then some of their organic oil-free makeup remover. So this I have not used yet, but I did try this body wash and it is amazing. What I do want to mention, because I should have read it first, is that this is kind of uh, concentrated, so you don't need that much. And I put on like the same amount I normally do, like onto my puff. <laughs> I squeezed out the same amount that I normally would. You can see how much I used. And it was way too much. So this is like a concentrated version of body wash. So the Wakey Wakey is with rosemary and lemongrass. Love it, it smells so, so fresh. And I love this like Elmer's glue top. It's actually really handy in the shower. And this little spout is great because again, this is concentrated, but it just smells really fresh, really clean. It's also, it's organic, it's vegan. And it says like in bold lettering here, super concentrated. And there's no parabens, sulfates, you know, synthetic preservatives, et cetera, et cetera. It's certified USDA organic. It is cruelty free. It's gluten free. It's vegan. Um, there's a six month shelf life once it has been opened. And I have to say it's quite lovely. So I've been enjoying this and my husband is going to be enjoying the sandalwood, cedar and ginger. Uh, version of this. So big thank you to Plant Apothecary for sending these over to me. Okay, one final thing, and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to hold this up. Joa Beauty, which I believe is a K-beauty brand, they sent this over to me, and it is all of the new colors in their new lipstick range. So it's their Color Squad lipstick, and this thing up here is actually like a boombox. It's speakers, and you can basically attach it to your iPhone and it can play music out of it, or it can play whatever your iPhone is playing out of it, which is hysterical. I was like cracking up when I got this. I was like, this thing is so funny to me. So anyway, much like the serum, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to get through all of this lipstick, but I did wanna show you at least one. So I grabbed Thirsty, which is the darkest color here. I don't know if this is um, a PR package thing or whatever, but what I thought was interesting was, here's the packaging. And it comes off, you know, it's got the color at the top and, you know, regular bullet lipstick. But this color at the top actually comes off and there's some of it in there. So I'm not exactly sure the purpose of this, but it's very interesting. I don't really know the purpose of it. So there is a little J embossed at the top and it is a very, very creamy formula. Very, very creamy. So this obviously is not gonna go into the giveaway since I just rubbed it all over my hand and I'll probably pick out another color in there, but the rest of them I'm just gonna have to put into a giveaway because it's just, it's so many lipsticks. And you guys know, I already have so many lipsticks. So speaking of the giveaway, um, again, I'm doing this for 75,000 subscribers. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos. And again, I would not be receiving any of this PR if it weren't for you guys. So this giveaway is a way for me to share with you some of the things that I've received in PR because of you guys. So I'm going to have all the information down below on how you can enter and all of that. I always make my giveaways international, um, but just know that I will send things USPS, so it may take a while. The tracking will be shoddy, but just know I'm sending it USPS because otherwise if I send it through either like UPS or DHL or FedEx, it is is like two to three times more expensive than USPS. But this is the bag that I've been hoarding for you guys. Um, and this is not even all of it. But just to mention, there's gonna be some Charlotte Tilbury in there. There's going to be some By Terry in there. There's a lot of good stuff in here. There will be some Viseart in there. Love, love, love this dark edit palette. It is so good. There'll be a Sisley mascara in there. So there's a lot of good stuff in there. I don't wanna just sit here and show you what is in the giveaway, but there's a lot of good stuff and not all of it is even in that bag just yet. So again, a big, big thank you to you guys and check my description box for details on how to enter and what you need to do and blah, blah, blah. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. Again, always let me know down below in the comment section whenever I do a haul video, if you want dedicated videos to things or if you just wanna make sure something shows up in like a trying new makeup video, definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.